Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hopefully resolve if your wireless display is not working properly on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to power cycle both your computer as well as your wireless display. So I'm going to go ahead and just actually restart my computer at this point. So I would suggest you guys doing the same. Once you're back into Windows, I would suggest opening up the search menu, type in Device Manager. Best result should come back with Device Manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the Display Adapter entry in here, and then right click whenever Display Adapter is listed in here, and select Update Driver. Select Browse My Computer for Drivers, and then select Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then I would select the manufacturer or developer specific one, unless you only have a basic display adapter listed here, in which case you would select that one instead. And then you would select Next. And then select Close. Now open up the search menu. Type in Control Panel. Best result, should come back with Control Panel. So go ahead and open that up. Select the View By up in the top right and select the large icons. And then you want to scroll down and select Windows Defender Firewall. On the left side, select where it says Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And then scroll down the list here to the wireless display. Again, if you have a wireless display connected to your computer. And you would select Change Settings up here at the top. Checkmark Private Networks. And you may want to select Public as well, but at least start with Private and then you would select OK and to save that change. Again, you would look for something that says a wireless display over here on the left column, and then you would check mark private, select OK, and then if you're still having a problem, you can select public networks as well, and then check mark that option, and then again, select OK to save that. And then hopefully at that point, your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do about to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.